Hello, this is Vic. This is Jay. And this is my older brother. Obviously, he's my younger brother. And uh, together, we're going to get together and uh, drive this uh, domestic violence out of this country, out of this world, 100%. with the Ambulance of Hope. We're going to drive this Ambulance of Hope from here all the way to Centre Nats. So we want you to follow us on this journey. And you can do that by just donating and helping us get this ambulance on the road. I became involved with um, domestic violence because I was exposed to it uh, at a uh, very early age. Um, unfortunately, uh, through the family, uh, there's been um, cases of domestic violence and um, it sort of felt helpless to be able to do anything. And uh, so I decided a long time ago that if I ever get a chance, I would definitely make a, um, make a point and see if we can put a stop to um, domestic violence. You know, to actually help him out on his dream is actually like a dream of mine as well. So, you know. It's been there for me, so pay him back. One of the main reasons is mainly because it's been one of his uh, one of his biggest dreams uh, to actually support something like this on a larger scale, not just like you know just to donate, um, get the message out there. The dream about the ambulance was. Um uh, more so to be able to get out there um, and be, build an ambulance that was more like an eye candy and um, so we thought oh, if we can get an eye candy style ambulance like a hot rod style ambulance it will attract a lot of guys to the ambulance then when we get the guys close to the ambulance then we can um, bombard them with information about domestic violence and what the ambulance is all about subconsciously guys might not be thinking about it but you've put in a little message into their brain that um, uh, that's what that's domestic violence is there and and uh, that's what the ambulance purpose is to just put a little message in there um, and being guys we could all talk to other guys about it it's easy to for you to say to your mate yeah, that's you know that's just not right that's not acceptable behavior and a mate will probably listen to another mate and one of the reasons why we're doing this was because I thought well if we can have an ambulance and we can have it to do with domestic violence um, and if we uh, get it to go on television or, or, or shown anywhere in the world we can actually get guys to sit down and watch this. Because it's a manly thing happening with the ambulance and at the same time um, throwing the, the subject about domestic violence. What we want to do is we want to put on a, um, a show in the middle of summer nights to, uh, to all these beautiful people who are there, uh, just to um, let them enjoy what, um, uh, what we've experienced through, the, um, through our journey and hopefully we can um, uh, shed uh, some fun and some, some awareness of the whole thing. So if, if we can get just one person that night thinking, oh wow, yeah, that, that rings a bell, you yeah, know, we've, we've done our job. It's such a world where it's always kept hush-hush and um, so we thought, no, we'll just uh, get out of the uh, boardroom and we'll take it out to the trenches where, um, and, and let's um, bring some awareness to the whole thing. One of the reasons that I th uh, wanted to become a supporter of White Room is because, um, again, over the years, uh, the family members that were affected by this, um, uh, by, by the domestic violence that I witnessed, um, are still affected by it. And, um, now as they, they, are, they themselves are getting older, they still don't want to talk about it. For all of you out there, you know, interested in uh, donating, uh, we've got a huge ambulance that's just full of spaces for you to uh, put your branding on it. And uh, we'll do it JG3 style, so it means that uh, the whole world is going to see this. It's not just a couple of stickers. It'll be a show on the road. So, um, so your brand will be literally will be exposed to just about every person that sees this ambulance. So um, dig deep and let's put a stop to domestic violence altogether.